Hi everybody, I'm Sergio with Mobility Direct and thank you for joining us in today's video. In today's video, I'm gonna show you a couple of things about the Transformer Automatic Folding Scooter that might help you. We have a lot of customers that own this scooter and they sometimes call us and say, hey, I don't know what's going on. It's not folding or unfolding. I could hear the motor moving for the unfolding motor, but it's just not moving. It's, it's, it's not folding or unfolding, but you can hear it moving and then something's going on. Now, before I go forward with the fix, I just want to point out one thing. If you want a copy of our free product catalog, just go to our website, click on the green button at the top of every page that says free catalog, fill out the short form, and we'll mail you one. It should be in your mailbox within one to two weeks tops. Something else I want to point out is that since you're already here, if you subscribe to our YouTube channel right now, you're automatically entered into a giveaway and you could win a free mobility scooter just like this person that just won one. So you're already here, it's free to do, it takes two seconds, hit that subscribe button and you could be the next winner to get a free mobility scooter. We give them away every six months. With that being said, let's get started. Now on this transformer scooter, there is a red lever, which you can see right here, which is used to manually fold and unfold your scooter in the event that you run out of battery. And I'm gonna demonstrate that. I'm gonna use this lever and I'm gonna fold it manually. So now, the scooter has been manually folded. So what does that mean? Well, now that the scooter's manually folded, the, the actual motor that is used to fold it thinks that it's in the unfolded position. So if I go to try and fold it, the motor to fold it is actually doing its job, but that red lever that we engaged unhooked it from the folding motor. So if I go and try to hit the B button or the A button and keep going back and forth and I keep thinking to myself, it's not moving, it's not unfolding, well that's normal. Because if you may be familiar with this system, it actually stops halfway through the folding process and you have to hit the button again to complete the unfolding process. It's a safety feature. So it won't fold all the way, it'll stop halfway and then you hit the button again and it'll fold the rest of the way. Same thing when you, un when you unfold it. If it's folded and you go to unfold it, it's gonna stop halfway and you're gonna have to hit the button again to make it go the rest of the way. So if you're going back and forth and it's not moving, try going in the same direction twice and you're gonna hear that motor get locked into place. It's gonna click. And I'm gonna demonstrate that for you. So I just went halfway, I'm gonna go again in the same direction, hitting the B button again, and you're gonna hear it click now, listen for it, and you're gonna see it move. See that? It just clicked, and that red lever hooked into place with the folding motor, and that's what you need to do. So now, when I go to unfold it, guess what? It's working. That was all you had to do. It's pretty simple, and again, look, it's gonna stop halfway. So I gotta hit the A button again to continue unfolding it. Now, let's say it's in the folded position. I'm gonna hit the B button to fold it. It's gonna stop halfway. I'm gonna hit it again. It's gonna fold all the way. And I'm just gonna demonstrate again. If I use this red lever to unfold it, it unhooks, you can hear it click. Unfold it. Now, the scooter thinks it's folded. If I hit the motor to unfold it, it's gonna get stuck. It's not gonna move. So we can hear the motor moving right now, and it stops halfway through the process, it always stops. So I'm gonna hit it again, and watch, you're gonna see that red lever. We're gonna get close so you can see it and you're gonna hear it too. It's going the rest of the way and boom, it clicked and hooked into place. So now if I hit this remote control, it's locked into place again and it's working. And that's the solution. Super easy to do and it can be frustrating if you just bought your scooter and you think it's broken, but reality of the matter is it's not broken. 
It's just, unfortunately, operator error. But don't feel bad. Everybody does it. We get calls like this all the time. And that's why we're making this video. If you like this video and you wanna get notified whenever we release new videos just like this one, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Again, you're automatically gonna get entered into our giveaway. Good luck. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you've learned something today. Have a great day. Before you go, please don't forget to visit our website, mobilitydirect.com, and click on the green button that says free catalog to claim your very own free catalog. Just fill out the short form and it should get to you in about a week or two max. I just want to take this time to personally thank each and every one of you for watching this video. We couldn't do it without our subscribers. So if you like our content, please go to YouTube, search for Mobility Direct, and subscribe to our channel. You can enable notifications. That way you'll get notified whenever we release new videos. We're constantly making great videos. We have tons of playlists that range from repair videos, unboxing videos, research and development, and much, much more. If you like this video, please feel free to give it a thumbs up and ask any questions in the comment section below. We love hearing from our audience, whether it's feedback, comments, or suggestions for a new video topic, we love hearing from you. None of this could be done without our loyal audience. We hope to hear from you. Thanks for watching again. Have a great day.